Welcome back to PSC's Tech Byte. Uh, this week uh, I will talk with you about how you can create uh, a team in Microsoft Teams uh, using the Microsoft Graph. In fact, uh, in the Microsoft Graph, as you can see at the URL on this slide, uh, you can uh, get access to a bunch of methods that allow you to create, uh, archive, update, and generally speaking, manage uh, Teams uh, in Microsoft Teams. In order to create a new team using the Microsoft Graph, you will need, uh, first of all, to create an Office 365 group, and that group will need to have at least one owner. Once you have created a group, you can promote that group uh, into a Microsoft team. And in order to do that, uh, either you want to create a group or you want to promote it to a team, you will need the group read write all permission. It's really simple and straightforward, so let me move to the demo environment and let me show you how to do that in practice. So here I am in Microsoft Teams, uh, and as you can see, I have a couple of teams uh, predefined, uh, and I want to create a new one uh, using uh, the REST APIs uh, provided by the Microsoft Graph. So first of all, let me show you uh, the create group uh, action that you can use, uh, making a post request to the collection of groups in the Microsoft Graph. You need the group read write all permission to do that uh, and you will have to provide a request which for example can include this information and uh, the main one is this one group types uh, uh, unified which will instruct uh, um, the Microsoft graph uh, to create uh, an office 365 group uh, which is also called the unified group once you have created a group uh, you can use the create team uh, action which is just a team uh, uh, operation uh, targeting the group uh, that you want to upgrade or uh, promote to a team. And by doing that and providing uh, any custom settings that you want to have uh, in your new uh, team, the Microsoft Graph will create for you a new uh, team in Microsoft Teams. So let me do that uh, using PowerShell, for example. So I will connect uh, using the connect PMP online commandlet and I will provide the group read write all permission, which is the permission scope that I need uh, to uh, operate with these actions. By doing that, I will have to authenticate and I will use my Office 365 Work or School account and I will get back an access token. The access token, as you can see here, is a real access token that I get from Azure Active Directory. I can create a custom set of headers for the HTTP requests that I will make and I create a first request uh, which will be used to create a new group instance. The group uh, display name description will be this one, it will be a unified group, uh, it will be mail enabled with this nickname uh, and with not security enabled. I create a JSON representation of this object uh, which will be the real body of my request and I make uh, an invoke REST method uh, uh, request uh, providing the URL of the collection of groups uh, in Microsoft Graph, uh, I will make a post uh, and I will provide that object together with the custom headers that I want to have. As a result, I will get back a new group ID, which is the one of the group uh, that has just been created. So let me show you. This is the ID of my new group. Then I create a request uh, to upgrade that group to a team and I again convert that request to a JSON object. And I will make another graph request targeting the collection of groups, the just created group uh, and the team action, providing the custom body and again uh, the custom headers, this time with a put request, HTTP request. So let me do that. And as you will see, in a matter of few seconds, I will get back uh, a team created in Microsoft Teams. And in fact, if I go back to my Microsoft Teams desktop client, I can see that I have my custom team uh, created. So a uh, really simple uh, scenario. You can do that in a custom application, which can be a job uh, running on Azure, a function running on Azure, or whatever else you like. So you can easily automate uh, the process of creating groups and teams uh, using the Microsoft Graph. As usual, thank you for watching this video. I hope you found it useful and I'm really looking forward to seeing you next week. Thank you.